I told you a month ago she was running. And I believe what Robert Mueller did this past week absolutely proves Hillary Rodham Clinton is going to make another run for the presidency of the United States. Good morning, it's Pastor Marty. This is the video version of the Afternoon Drive. Robert Mueller came out this week, and of course, some people were saying he was trying to take a victory lap, basically stating, you know, my report stands for itself. Then why did you have to come out and talk for nine minutes about a report that stands for itself? He then said, I'm retiring, and I refuse to answer any more questions on this subject. That's even got some Dems torqued. Well, you can't just, like, retire and fade off and act like none of this happened and we're just supposed to, you know, take this report and you never have to answer, why did you not go after Trump for the obstruction? And this lame answer that he gives that, well, you can't indict a sitting president. Right. But Ken Starr, when he was going after Bill Clinton, he made several recommendations of where he thought the president at the time had overstepped his bounds and authority and had committed, what's the word I'm groping for? Illegal acts. Now, he couldn't prosecute. He couldn't bring charges or do anything. That was up to Congress. See, Bobby Mueller hasn't done that. He's made insinuation. He's made inference. And then he made that incredible, uh, unconstitutional, that is the way I'm going to say it, unconstitutional statement that, well, had the president been, if we had felt the president was truly not guilty, we would have exonerated him. Well, number one, that's not your job to exonerate. The constitutional level that we're going for here is innocent until proven guilty. Therefore, your assertion that, well, had we truly found him innocent, we would have said so. But you didn't find him guilty. You didn't charge him with anything. So by innuendo, you are asking Congress, impeach him! But you're too gutless to come out and actually stand for that. And I find the nuance that he did, like the nuance that Comey did with Hillary Rodham Clinton during the election of 2016, part and parcel and exactly the same. Now hear me. What James Comey did back at the time was misread by certain Democrats as, he has sabotaged Hillary Clinton's campaign. No, what he wanted to do, he believed Hillary was absolutely positively going to be elected. And he didn't want her to come into office and have this cloud hanging over her about email servers and all that hogwash, all her crimes. So he was going to exonerate her before the election. But he, he, he gave a little of this appearance that, well, we did find some things now on Uma Aberdeen's husband's computer, and we we're going to we're gonna have to look into this. And you remember, for about a week, everybody was all tense, and how could he do this now? And then, it just, she was exonerated. There was no there there. And whatever did happen, she didn't mean it. Robert Mueller was brought in to clean up the James Comey mess. But, in so doing, they really are setting it up for Hillary Clinton to make another run. You take a look at this cast of, of clowns that's running for the Democratic nomination, and I think even the Democrats know none of these people stand a chance of actually winning. And Joe Biden's looking a little weepy and tired out there. What Robert Mueller did was a continuation of what James Comey started. Because you see, now Hillary is going to spring into action. Because the same Democrats understand, and the political animal Democrats, like Nancy Botox Pelosi, understands that if they follow through with impeachment on Trump, 
it's going to backfire badly, badly on them. So they're not going to do that. So Hillary is going to put on her superwoman cape and fly into action that only she can deal with President Trump. And the best way for that to happen is you've got to elect her president and she will do something that no other president has ever done. Bring charges against a former president. I'm telling you that what Robert Mueller did, he was trying to provide cover fire so that Democrats could have a, quote, excuse to go after President Trump. They're not going to. Well, the rabbits will. But they're not actually going to. Or if they do, they will botch it. Hillary Rodham Clinton is going to come out of retirement. She's going to say, listen, you know you needed me. Robert Mueller has all but said the Russians did interfere with the election. And therefore, therefore, I should have been the president. You owe this to me. Put me in that Oval Office. I will fix everything that Trump has done, and I'll fix Trump. I'm telling you, that's what's coming. And that is exactly why Robert Mueller did what he did this week. Now, if you like this, if you agree with this, give me a thumbs up. Share this video, because again, YouTube keeps not only messing with my algorithm, they keep trying to put these videos as private rather than public. So they're really trying to suppress what's going on here. You know, it's funny. We don't have a million members yet, but there must be something about these videos and the popularity that they were gaining that whoever at YouTube makes these decisions about silencing the conservative voices looked at this channel and said, uh, 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 uh. So help me get the word out. Share these videos, spread the word, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell to get notification of my next rant.